President Thaman Shamugaram's contributions to the Republic's education system and citizens' lifelong learning were underscored by National University of Singapore NUS President Tan Ing Chai on January 4. As he welcomed Mr. Thaman as the university's 11th Chancellor. Mr. Thaman has had a remarkable career as an economist, political leader, and respected policymaker on the global stage. Said Professor Tan, and NUS had the opportunity to work with him when he was Education Minister from 2003 to 2008. During his term, and through his subsequent appointments in public office. He has shaped Singapore's education landscape by introducing multiple pathways and recognized diverse skills and talents to achieve a broader and more flexible system of meritocracy, said Professor Tan. He also noted Mr. Thaman's involvement at the start of the Skills Future Initiative, which provides lifelong learning and skills development opportunities for Singaporeans. Mr. Thaman chaired the Skills Future Council when it was formed in 2014 while he was serving as Deputy Prime Minister. Professor Tan added that more than a decade later, many Singaporeans are engaging in lifelong learning. And the range and options available have expanded dramatically. In 2023, more than 39,000 training spots have been taken up at the NUS School of Continuing and Lifelong Education, said Professor Tan. The school, which was launched in 2016, promotes lifelong learning opportunities by providing working adults with pathways to acquire new skills and qualifications. NUS is also one of five partners appointed by the Infocom Media Development Authority to develop government-funded courses in generative artificial intelligence, software engineering, and cloud and mobility capabilities. More than 70 guests, including Mr. Thaman's wife, Ms. Jane Itogi, and Second Minister for Education Maliki Osman, attended the event at the NUS University Cultural Center. The Chancellor's post at NUS, according to its constitution, is filled by the President of Singapore. Mr. Thaman said in a statement that NUS has grown alongside Singapore since the university's founding in 1905, contributing to both country and society. Its commitment towards scholarship, enterprise and serving the needs of the community is central to our vision of a thriving and socially cohesive future. He added, Educational reform has been one of my lifelong priorities, and I aim to continue engaging this sector in various ways, including in my new appointment as the 11th Chancellor of NUS. Mr. Thaman also said in an Instagram story. Mr. Thaman takes over the role from his predecessor, Madam Halima Yaakob, just as the university breaks for the first time into the top 10 institutions globally. NUS is the highest-ranked Asian university and the first from Asia to be placed in the rankings top 10, which is dominated by universities from the United States and Britain. In the coming years, we look forward to drawing upon the wisdom, experience and support of our new Chancellor as we rethink education and take the NUS journey forward as a leading global university. Shaping the Future, said Professor Tan. During the event on January 4, the elements of the NUS crest, a memento comprising a lion, a book and three interlocking rings, was presented to Mr. Thaman.